says here, you kid Calvin. That's her. <laughs> yep, hi. And That's Brenda. Can you say hi? hi? Hi. How are you? Good. How do you get that background, Brenda? What? How do you get your background? It comes with the, I guess it just comes with what I have. It looks oh, like the okay. moon. Yeah, 10 yeah. to 1, she didn't do that on purpose. I did do that. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was she just preempted me, and I my first instruction was we always wash our hands. Yep. Okay, well, um, wash our hands. If we were cooking for a group or a crowd, we would wear um, hand sanitizing gloves, safety gloves. But because it's just us, we're not going to this too today. Right. Um, does anyone see if Mary's on yet? I don't see her. I don't either. Okay. Rosie's gonna so, Rosie's gonna text her. Okay, great. Well, I'm not that just so that we have enough time for everything. Right. Does everyone have their ingredients bag out in front of them? Yeah. Yeah. And did you have time to prep your ingredients ahead of time? My husband no. did. Uh, well, Brenda, I'm impressed because you just left here. <laughs> so he helped. He did it all. I cheated. And I have everything ready to go. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is in a pot, um, five, five quarter bigger, please. Put your oil in the pot. And I'm, usually I'm using the stove so you're going to not see me for a couple minutes. And then half of your diced onion is going to go in that pot. The canola oil, Becky? The, the oil that's in that container. Okay. It's actually canola oil. Yeah, I'm gonna put that oil. Um, and I'm doing onion rolls. I can do it. I can do it. Do it? Oh, like for. Okay, I'll let you do it. So you're just gonna get that oil hot. Throw your half of your diced onions in the oil. Half a dunk. Yeah. Um, and then your one cup of rice in the oil. Okay. And you just stir it. Just make sure it doesn't burn. Go ahead on medium heat. On this stove is number five. Medium heat. Medium? Yep. Medium. Just to what else? Bolden, that, what uh, else goes in the pot? The on, half of the onion and in the what else? And the, and rice. the rice. The rice. Yeah. Thank you. And the onion and the rice are on, on fine. All right. So you just want to stir it till the rice starts getting translucent and then turns a golden color. Go ahead, there. Good job. Mind you, in Mexico, they use regular butter, so, but that adds a little more um, health issues to it. But once your rice and your onions have started to turn translucent and then a golden color, yep. you're going to take half of your spices marked chili powder and cayenne pepper. So you have a little container name called labeled chili powder and cayenne pepper. Thank you. 
Yeah. And then you're going to stir that again. Does the whole container go in? Half. Half? Thank you. Yeah. Half of it. I just did the yellow chili. But don't put half up your nose like that you just did. <laughs> half of the seasoning rolls. After we do the, you got yours? Where's your rice, honey? Over here. Here. I can bring up a little bit. Okay, half of the cayenne. Great. Half of the cayenne. How much? One and a half cups. One and a half? Yep. Yep. Let me ring on just for a bit. That's right. Uh, you got a pen? I don't know. I can do it. Okay. I'm going to double mine. Where do you have one? Do we dump it in the rice? Now you're going to open yep. your can of sauce. What a time. Water and rice. The right you just put the can of sauce right into the water. Okay, open up your can of sauce. The tomato paste? Yep. That would be next. So I'm going to in an order here. One and a half cup of water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, I like the pictures. That looks awesome. That looks perfect. What? Pour the other half a cup in. Yep. Perfect. Great. I don't know if you can really see mine. Don't spill it. There you go. Yeah. Very good. Now you're going to cover it. You're going to turn your heat down to low. You're going to set your timer for 25 minutes. Okay. Okay, half of that. Five, so one and a half cups. One and a half cups. Okay. Twenty. Okay. Twenty-five. Okay. 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 The whole thing. The whole yep. Okay. okay. Uh, that's onion powder and garlic. Powder. A whole thing of onion and garlic? Yep. Yes. Yep. Good job. All right, perfect. Okay, we got Rosie Bush. And now you're not going to touch that again until your 25 minute buzzer. Got it. Done. I'm going to do the Pico de Gallo. It's actually the cheat to buy this, but it's so easy. And although I am not a tomato lover, my husband and my kids love fresh Pico de Gallo or um, salsa. So you just want to um, slice your tomatoes, decor them. Okay. Do you want hands on or whatever you want? Mm -hmm. You can do more tomato first. Are you good with them? Uh, I need to put 
Twenty five minutes, right? You cut the tomato, dice them up. Yep. Here's another thing. I gotta open up here. Those are double tomatoes. Easier for you to hear me without my mask. Yes, much better. Better. I have a little time because I have to do so mom got to do a couple steps for me. So we're a little behind because I have to help Rosie because she's got an infected finger. <laughs> Take your time. And there, and now we got to do tomatoes. Both tomatoes? Yeah, and these were picked today. Ooh. So I probably should have thanked um, the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation Grant, Bennington College, Vermont Food Bank, and Clearbrook Farm. So Bennington College and the Mellon Grant supplied the grant for all this great cooking. Yeah, slice up tomatoes, man. Slice up tomatoes. Um, the Vermont Food Bank supplied funds with the Mellon Grant to go in with the table. And we have a refrigerator. Here, I'll show you later. And then, yeah. Um, yeah. Liberal friend donated the vegetables today. Cool. Tyra's mouthing obviously is awesome and rocks. Place to go. Not until 25 up. I know. Yeah. I will. Just like that. Don't stop. Yeah. Gotta save from the lime, so you're gonna take that. Okay. Take them. Yeah. Right. Hold that. I'm just gonna rub. Like, yep. Again, if you were preparing this for someone else, you'd wear gloves. Right. So again, I cheated a little. Yes. And um, I made my pico de gallo ahead of time. So I'm going to add to it. Smell it? Yeah, it smells good. I think you need a full seat. Are we mixing the pico de gallo up right now? You can just throw your tomatoes in a bowl. Okay. Okay. And then you want to take your onions, the other half of your onion. Dice them if they're not diced. Okay. Okay. And you can throw those in a bowl. In the same bowl with the tomatoes. Okay. That would cut. Smash it. I'm not doing that. And then we'll chop it. Chop the end on. See? That garlic? Yeah. I brought one down. And then you got to do your jalapeno if you want. If not, you can use the, you want to use some green pepper one. I got green pepper. Yeah, I got green pepper here. Yeah, pepper we're going to, you can not in this recipe. If we have time, I was going to show you a Mexican omelet. Rachel. What? I've already dusted my lime, but a lot of recipes lemons and limes. Um, to get the best out of your lemon and lime, take it on a counter and roll it. And I don't know if you can see, roll it like this. Give it a good, you know, rolling to get the juices flowing inside and it will actually soften up for you. Okay. Cutting it, you want to zest it. So I, I got you each a zester or grater just in the event you didn't have one. Okay. So you want to zest that lime into your 
And you want to sing a little bit for your um, lime this zest. Lime zest. And you got to roll your lime out. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I cheated and I zested mine ahead of time. So then I want you to cut your lime in quarters. We don't kill the lime, right? No. Okay. No, don't kill the lime until you've already zested it. Okay. Once you've zested it, you can chop it into four wedges for me. Okay. Four wedges. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Okay. Four little wedges. Then I'm going to have you cut your jalapeno pepper in half. Is this what jalapeno? So, uh, okay, she said it. Yeah. Uh, I was making this for my husband. I would leave the seeds in because that's where the heat is. But seeing I'm not, I'm going to. I'm not doing it. Always remember when working with peppers, if you get it on your skin, the oil from the peppers will stay on your skin. So yeah, don't touch your eyes. <laughs> not that too bad, but if you are working with a um, habanero, you really want to wear gloves while you're chopping your peppers, because for the next four hours you're going to taste habanero pepper on whatever you eat, and it's really not good depending on what you touch. So once you have the pepper cord, I'm going to have you slice and dice it. You just want it about this. I don't know if you can see that. My assistant Madison is doing a great job. Beautiful. We don't use that. Okay, I just want it. Squeeze it. Okay. And tell me when you've caught up with me. Never. She said. You can let me know when you've caught up with me. Yes. What, what do we do with the quartered lime again, Becky? So we haven't got there yet, but oh, okay. fast. we're going <laughs> to take three of your wedges and you're going to squeeze it over your tomatoes and your onions. Okay. Three. Two, three. Yep. Sweet. No yeah. Sweet. And just so you know, I know we are supposed to compost now here in Vermont, but normally lemons and limes are great natural deodorizers for your trash. Okay. Mm -hmm. you want to get three? Two Please. Hard as you can. And yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. now those two. I'm going to rinse my fingers off so I don't taste when I'm eating. Now you can add any of the zest that you have, have left and your jalapeno peppers on top of that. I'm just going to use some pepper. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're doing, Rose? Yep. Now, can you put green pepper in there, too, instead of the jalapeno? When I make it for me, I make it instead of tomatoes, I make it with cucumbers. Oh, okay. <gasps> so you all got a package of cilantro? Lots of right here. And chop it. I like using kitchen scissors and just keep your leaves and kind of cut it. Being yeah. careful not to cut your finger. So we got so we got to chop the cilantro off, right? You could chop it, or I use kitchen shears to cut it. Okay. Just a teaspoon of that. One teaspoon cilantro. Yep. Next, pick up the whole board. Yep. Put it in. Yeah. How are we all doing? Good. Doing good. 
I can tell you're busy. Yeah, um, There's no real talking. Just busy. <laughs> Next time we'll prep. <laughs> so your bowl should look like this before you mix it up. Yeah. Yep. Do we put the minced garlic in yet? Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> no wonder it's still sitting there. <laughs> yeah. mm, I don't know how. Beautiful. Uh, your uh, shredder or grater again and just grate your garlic in there again garlic. You taste how much you put in. if this was mine and there was a number of salsa i'd be having a ton of garlic Notice when you grate your garlic, it all um, gathers on the back of the grater. Just take a knife and just rub it off. And then we're going to mix this. Let me get a fork or a spoon. And let's just mix this. And then you have your um, pico de gallo. I would set that aside on the counter, not in the refrigerator, because bringing it to room temperature brings out more of the flavor of the vegetables. And by the time we're ready to use it, you should have a nice juice in the bottom of it. That brings up to the crema. So you've got a little container of sour cream. And I cheated a little. So you're gonna put your sour cream in a little bit bigger bowl for me. I just met. You want us to do what with the sour cream? Put it in a little bit bigger bowl so that we can mix. Okay. You know, like a half a cup measuring cup or something that's empty. Yeah. Okay. You got one? A quarter of the lime. You should have one quarter left. Yeah. Zest that one quarter into your sour cream, please. Into the sour cream? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me do it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. I still want. Two tablespoons of water to your sour cream. Two tablespoons. That's the big one. I don't know. I did, so crema should be like a wine and two tablespoons. Um, Oh, it's like a... Yeah, they probably send that one. Hmm? 
the line itself in the wall. Okay. Now mix your water and your sour cream, and it should be a runny consistency. This is really good on almost anything like baked potatoes or even for a dip for chips. All it is is watered down sour cream with lime or you can do lemon zest. And then we're going to add the quarter of the juice and mix that in as well. The quarter lime that you had left. I the spoon off the There we go. It just looks like. I just tried to pull off the spoon. Got all of ours all stirred up. Good job. Doing great. How are we doing? Good. Come on. This is all stirred up. Are you caught up with me yet? Yeah. Nice. So now I want you to um, decide what chicken you're using for today's class. I gave you all ch breaded chicken fingers or the chicken, the chicken breast patty. If you're doing the chicken fingers, you can put them in a saute pan and just saute them. If you're doing the chicken breasts, I would slice them. Okay. That's good. Just so you know, our taste tester does need chicken. So I'm going to make her a vegetarian one. Okay. Don't we might need that. It's chili powder. So do we, uh, with the chicken, do we uh, saute that up? Yep. Okay. Instead of using oil, I usually use a little bit of water just to get some juice going in it. Now with this, the only spoon I need is the Yeah, that's all. And there's Brenda. What do you think? It's amazing. It's my man on the cooking class, studying that I haven't ever been on one. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I'm just doing a whole bunch of chicken rolls, so. Do you want to do yours and just fry it up in here? Yeah. Put this one on. Also, we need to turn yours down. You're just burning. chicken. I actually have a pan. I'm sauteing onions, peppers, 
and the other half of the jalapeno pepper to make Madison a vegetarian. Plus, we'll use it in our, um, if we have time, we'll, we can use it in our omelet. Okay. Just so you guys know, those of you that took my cooking class already know this, but I never use salt or pepper when I cook, ever. Neither do I. Um, if people want to salt it after, that's fine. But all food has ample amounts of sodium. And I will show you after we're going to be um, looking at the label maker for the nutritional value. And I'll show you how any recipe you do, you can look at a label and know the nutritional value of it. And we are actually perfect timing right now. No. Yep. One of the things um, Sherry's Housing did purchase with grant money is these great Banco um, infrared burners. So it's nice. We can stand right at the um, table and cook. We actually, actually purchased eight of them because my, my hopes were to give cooking classes for the kids. And I'm still trying to figure out how we can section off enough area to give maybe four at a time cooking classes. Chicken smells exactly like taco meat. <laughs> I'm all over it right now. Where does the rest of the chili powder go, Becky? Right in amongst your chicken. Chicken, thank you. I did it on vegetables because I'm making vegetarian meal. Okay. But I already have the chicken done here. We're here. Looks good. My sudden look. So good. Oh! Timer. Yeah. Someone smoke alarm going off? No, the rice timer. Oh, that's better than a smoke alarm. Yes. Did you hear Becky say earlier? So just turn off the burner for the rice, but don't open the lid? Yep. Don't open the lid. Chicken smells amazing. How's your chicken smelling amazing? Amazing. So the thing is, um, your chicken should only take like 10 minutes or so to heat all the way through because all that chicken is pre-cooked. So as soon as you think it's cooked through, you can shut it off and remove it from the heat. <coughs> Okay, as soon as you think it's cooked there. Although they only heat up on the surface, 
they still stay hot and will keep the pan off. So if you were ever using like a glass top oven um, range, take it off the burner because it still stays hot. Are you ready to build our street tacos? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I'm So I'm put them together. So if you can take two of your um, tortillas out, please. Oh, I think she's telling us how to do the tortillas. You might want to come over and watch. Okay. Yep. Good job. Yeah. Okay. Even just the tortillas, it's not bad. Listen. See, put in the chicken. So you're gonna scoop your chicken onto your um, tortillas. Pretend this is chicken. No, it's good. You don't have to pretend it's chicken. You can see the chicken. And I made one of each because I didn't know which which you were going to do. Now you're gonna scoop. Do you like? Um, do you like that? Let me get, let me so you get the juice. <laughs> so if you mix your pico de gallo, do you see the nice juice that's in the bottom of your pan now? Yeah. I'm gonna let Madison scoop her own on. Okay. Now, if I were eating these, I would actually put my rice right in these and wrap right. it in a burrito. But you right. can put your rice on the side. It's up to you. I am so excited because tacos are like my favorite food. <laughs> Cheese. Right square. She said she put. Yeah. Now you put up in your rice and it stir it to make it fluffy. Steamy. What? Oh. On or next to? It close. Sure. Just a little bit. Yeah. 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 Um, right. Pepper and the celery. Right. Well, the chicken ain't done. Beautiful. I brought a whole bit of chicken down. And you're going to drizzle that over the rest over all of it. What do you In a pattern? I like to drizzle it around, but you can do whatever you want. I also a lot of times serve this with um, refried beans. Instead of the chicken? No, uh, no I like it all. I, I've mm. got to go with the gusto. Okay. 
And they use okay. chicken instead of, Madison would use that instead of the chicken. You think? Right. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. In less than an hour, we made a meal. Ah. It made it look good. Now, if you really want to go crazy, roll one side, then your and then roll it up. Now you have a burrito, and you can actually serve it with um, melted cheese. Put cheese on it. Put it under your broiler, and serve it. Oh. Like and then spread your crema on. Yeah. Um, add more salsa. Um, I saw Cynthia um, was cutting up lettuce ahead of time to put lettuce on theirs. So we did, and we put the rice in. We put the rice in like you suggested, and 10-year-old approves. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. So now, while you guys are enjoying that, I'm just going to show you something really quick. Yeah, I tried the made sour cream with the pepper. I didn't really Lime. like it. You didn't like it? Lime. Lime, yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to say, maybe because it had pepper in it. But yeah, lime. So because we have so many eggs at Applegate, um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick omelet. Okay, she's gonna make us a quick omelet though. Come on. So while you're eating, I'm just gonna whip up an omelet. Okay. You can make me an omelet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to see, I'm trying to do her and then you can see it better. Okay, so you can just put mine like in a bowl and then do yours. I got some So if I was making this for my kids, I'd make like five eggs, but I'm just going to whip up a small one. So I'm going to do only three eggs. Okay, she's doing the three eggs. I might be one of them. You want me to come up? You want this chicken to come up two rows or no? You want to do both chickens in there? Preferably, preferably without the shells. Preferably without the shells. <laughs> <laughs> so just, you know, scramble your eggs. This is the nice thing about this, is the heat is there instantly. Well, pay attention, because you're going to make me an omelet tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like homework. Come yeah. homework. Yeah, I'm supposed to start like online Zoom meetings for school on the, what is it, 16th? Pretty soon you'll be doing online Zoom meetings. Uh-huh. Yep. You haven't started school yet? I just Sarah? put a little oil in the pan so it wouldn't stick. I scrambled those three eggs in the, um, in a, measuring cup, but it doesn't have to be a measuring cup. And I'm going to take some of the um, peppers and onions that I sauteed for Madison's. So I put some of the peppers and onions that I had sauteed for Madison. Now I'm going to add a little of the pico de gallo. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. If I had more jalapeno peppers, I would add it, but I cooked her um, onions and peppers with jalapenos. And now I'm just gonna shake some cheese on it. So this is what your pan should look like. <laughs> mm, that looks good. Madison and I were just discussing, we're jealous of the new pans that we got at Applegate. Way better than our home pans. Mm -hmm. so now you're just going to let this cook till it's Chicken. twist and the shimmy shake to get it to flip right. <laughs> Now again, you could eat this with a little of the crema on it or with toast. Or you can wrap it up in a burrito, right? You can, you yep. can make a breakfast burrito or yeah. not just breakfast, I guess you can eat eggs anytime. Yeah. Here you have it. Yay. Yeah. So how are those um, tacos and rice? Delicious. Are all approved. Approved. And mm -hmm. rice come out soft. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. You can actually step the rice up a little by adding more cayenne pepper, or by taking a jalapeno and sauteing it with the rice and onion in the beginning, and then get through the rice, and that'll give it a little zip. Delicious. And I'm just going to show you what the omelet looks like. Yummy. Oh, that looks good. How do you not eat while you're cooking? I do, if I did, I'd weigh like <laughs> 900. No. Nope. I don't know how I do it. Do you guys eat while you're cooking? Huh? Yep. <laughs> I love that she's eating the tacos. She wasn't sure. I just gave it to, um, I gave one to dad and one to the baby and they loved them too. Nice, nice. So My husband's loving it. <laughs> another thing you can do is once you have this like this, Put it in a freezer bag, an airtight freezer bag. You can now stick these in your freezer. So when you're in a hurry, you can take these out and put them in the oven in oh, yeah. aluminum foil or in the microwave and you have a quick meal ready to go. Great. That's a good idea. Yeah. I only have a few minutes, but I wanted to show you. Um, there is a site and it's called Very Well, of course my computer, VeryWellFit.com. I can um, share the screen. So Madison is gonna share her screen. Okay. I'm just gonna walk over there to go over it with her. One of us is old and blind. Yeah. 
Now, you were trying to cook according to, um, let's say you have hypertension or you have diabetes. You kind of want to know what's in this food. So what you would do is when you get on there, are you seeing my screen, guys? No. God. Yes. Great. Okay. I can so see it. The food calculator, nutrition calculator, nutrition, nutrition facts. facts. Yep. Click on nutrition facts, and then you'll see a recipe nutrition calculator. Click on that. Then you see it says, enter your recipe name. So for us, it was um, chicken street tacos. Or Madison's doing her own little. <laughs> so then we're gonna go down to the ingredients. Yeah. And then you're gonna start typing chicken breast. <laughs> Coming out with a calculator. Hmm. Okay. Let's we'll keep going and see what happens. So, chicken breast, um, Mexican cheese. Pico de gallo. Onions, jalapenos, uh, sour cream, and lime. Now, when you analyze, it should come up with. Oh, I'm sorry. Select number of servings. Ah. So this recipe actually served four people. So two, each person gets two um, tacos. Now if you see the servings will come up and it may ask you to redo. So if you hit analyze. Okay, so now you can click on where it says wrong measurement. Go over and click on the edit pen. And then click on the drop down, chicken bro, meat only. Perfect. And then click update. And then you go to the next one in Mexican style of four cheese. Perfect. And click update. Pico de Gallo. Now, unfortunately, they didn't have a fresh Pico de Gallo, so I just chose one. Um, okay. Do like red lobster, right? Sure. <laughs> Usually they use a lot of salt. But we'll do that one. Update. And then jalapeno peppers. You think? Uh, I might have just swiped short. Sure. Update. I heard that sour cream. Whatever is cultured sour cream is perfect. Um, yep. Yeah. Tables, two tablespoons. And then a lime. You're just gonna um you can I noticed it said lime juice. You could put the lime juice if you wanted. That's perfect. Still doing this wrong. Chicken breast wrong. Why? Oh, because so it says one. So got it. Okay. Lime update. There we go. And then it gives you your calories, your fat, your <laughs> cholesterol. But any recipe you can come up with. You can go to this site and make sure it's within your dietary requirements. Cool. You can also print this label or you can um, save it for the next time. That's really cool. So I hope, that, I hope you guys liked this.
Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. We loved it. Uh, I really yeah. want to get to the summer ragu of a pasta. Mm -hmm. um, do you all have rolling pins? Yes. No. I, I don't. Who was I? Brenda? Brenda. You so you have, you have rolling pins at the at the community building. You'll have to grab one. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to make homemade pasta next week. Ooh. Next week. Wow. I'm going to make homemade pasta. It doesn't take as long as most people think. And then we're going to use vegetable ra ragu. We're going to use mm -hmm. any vegetables that come to us that week. So That's awesome. I can't tell you what it is. It could be eggplants. It could be um, summer squash. It could be winter squash. It could be almost anything. But we're okay. going to make a nice sauce with the pasta. And um, that pasta will be nice sauce. I really wish that you would try to get more people involved. So if you know okay. friends that might join in. Um, Tina, I know that Donnie and Diane wanted to join. Unfortunately, they didn't have computer. So I'm okay. going to see if maybe we can come up with some type of lending computer, 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 computer. Can you guys hear? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah. If you can let people know. Have, give them my email, my cell phone, my work phone, um, and I will try to accommodate them. And I really appreciate all of you taking part in this. It was great. Thank you. Very good. Thanks, Becky. We appreciate it, Becky. Yeah. Good. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Gary, if you want to catch up, you can call me on my cell phone and I'll catch you up. Catch us on top of Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.